Holy heck, I'm Ryan from So Is It Any Good. I'm Draz. We just checked out Alien Covenant at the Sydney premiere. It's the sequel to Prometheus. It's the prequel to all the Alien films. Ridley Scott back at the helm. What the hell happened? Let's find out right now. So Alien Covenant, it stars Danny McBride, it stars Billy Crudup, it stars newcomer Catherine Waterson, and Ridley motherfucking Scott in his first Alien movie in how long now? Now we're saying first, but really he directed Prometheus, but that we call that an Alien movie? Not so much, no. not so much. This is the Alien movie, this is straight back to the original trilogy, mm. you know, Maybe not so much number three, but original trilogy nonetheless. Uh, it's got xenomorphs, exactly what you want to hear. Yeah. Um, it's almost like a survival story similar to the first movie, like slasher in a way. When you've got a team that are kind of being stalked by one single alien, it's fucking badass. The story kind of follows uh, Catherine Waterson. She loses a husband at the start of the film and a team of crew that are taking a colony of people to a new planet, a new Earth. They're trying to find a new Earth and shit goes down, something happens and they decide to quickly land on another planet that is similar to Earth and they think it's gonna be A-OK. -okay. It's not A-OK, -okay. <laughs> fucking shit goes crazy. Um, we've got new xenomorphs, we've got new aliens, uh, chest bursters galore, face huggers galore. Yes. Um, it's violent as hell. It's scary as shit. It is fucking scary, man. <laughs> when the aliens coming out and just bursting out of the chest, I'm like, ah. I felt like grabbing your leg half of the movie. I was like, I need to hold oh. on to something. And if it's going to hold on to anything, it's going to be your leg. Not your middle one, but you know, the, the one on the right. I felt that armrest come up and you sort of close. I'm like, nah. Hey, you started the film in a couple's chair. That was <laughs> awkward. And then it just kind of didn't go down until like no. halfway through the movie. We realize we're sitting in a couple chair. Halfway through the opening <laughs> sequence. <laughs> so Catherine Waterson, Daniels. It's sort of a new Ripley type of character. Definitely. For the film. Does she live up to the hype? I think, I don't know, man. She's not, she's not a Sigourney oh. Weaver. I don't, I don't know. She doesn't have the Sigour presence of Sigourney Weaver. Um, even in the first film, when I think when she wasn't, you know, the badass motherfucker you don't touch, Sarah Connor style yes. in, in, uh, in Aliens, she still had that presence about her where you mm. can kind of tell she's going to do some serious shit later on. Daniel's kind of, I don't know, she's a bit too school teacher? Like that's what I kind of say, yeah. like she could almost be a school teacher? Yeah, she's school teacher -ish. Um The first one, Elizabeth Shaw from Prometheus. Yep. I think she probably packed a bit more of a punch than Daniel's. Yeah. But Daniel's was very believable. Michael Fassbender plays two roles in this movie. You've got Walter and you've got David. Synthetic robot, you know, we all know him from Prometheus. Michael Fassbender kicks motherfucking ass in this, <laughs> and he really stands up, doesn't he? He does. He's he... such a strong lead character. Yeah, yeah. This is probably one of his better films that I've seen him in. And he does play two roles, and one is very much like a, he's very much a cyborg. He's very much a robot. He's, yes. He has almost no emotion. Uh, he, he, you know, walks and talks like a robot. But then the other role, David, mm. um, is almost like he's lived a little he's ha he he's there's a bit of humanity yeah exactly him. he's a bit human you know and you almost don't trust him in a way yes. and i think that leads to the the main plot points of the film you kind of like what's happening with david yes. what's happening with the planet where the fuck are these aliens coming from and wh who started them and there's a lot of lot of big reveals there's a lot of big uh twists and turns in the film um but God damn, this movie is scary as shit. Some great sequences in yes. this movie. Um, you think a chest burster is bad enough, you ain't seen shit. Like, to say the least, you ain't seen anything. This oh. movie has some some different takes on what the chest burster is and some different takes on mm. the alien and the xenomorph. Um, yeah. The xenomorph in this um, is, yeah. is a beast, uh, something to reckon with. Um, but I think the weird thing for me mm. was that everything was CGI. Okay, CGI. Does it live up to the hype of practical effects from the original Alien movies? No. No. I, personally, can, no. You can still tell it's CGI. I had like, yes. It, I, like, it, I, I get it. It's an alien. It probably isn't real, but it doesn't look real. So there was a ton of action in this movie. Mm. What do you think about it? Explosive action. The alien. Seeing the alien throughout the film was crazy. The white alien. Come on. Yeah. Getting birthed. And then, <laughs> and then, and then forming straight up and yeah. just standing over. It's like motherfucker. Yeah, he, he that like, was crazy. Yeah, yeah, and it's not it's not like seeing a different alien like from Alien Resurrection where you saw Ripley's alien, her birth alien. It's it's a new alien. It's, it's a, a cool alien. alien. Like it, it does kind of give the same kind of vibe as the Xenomorphs, yeah. but it's new. It's it's original and it's bloody bloodthirsty. Like it tears people apart. 
that one guy, I have to bring up the one guy, <laughs> the, the, the alien's tail whipped around and it was a quick shot, but his jaw came clean off and he Ooh. just went dead. Like that was it. He was dead. Which was awesome. Like that, I've never <laughs> seen anything like that before, mad. especially in alien films. It was and, madness. And that's what that's the good shit that you can do with CGI. You can do stuff that you can't do with practical effects. Yeah. But CGI, that's where it's perfected, where you just quick cuts, stuff blowing off, it works well, it looks unreal. Ugh. So what was your favorite part about the movie? Favorite part of the movie? We actually get to see the origin story on what happened to the engineers. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. We get to revisit the Prometheus ship. Yep. We get to see the Covenant ship, which is pretty cool as well. Yep. Probably better than the Prometheus ship yep. in the design. And yeah, what else can we ask for? You know, we get great cameos. Guy Pierce is back as Waylon, which is fucking cool. Yep. Gets a little bit of a snippet on the origin story of David. Just just a bit. Enough. A yeah. teaser. Yeah, yeah, a teaser. Ta a yeah, yeah. tantalizing teaser <laughs> from Mr. Ridley Scott. That's right. He does give you a lot yeah. of tantalizing. And what was your worst what was your worst part about the movie? The worst part. Look, I think we just have to go back to the practical effects again with the alien. Yep. If we had an alien in a suit, taking it back to the original films, I think it would have been a lot better. But not giving away with the whole CGI, it was still really, really good. Yeah. It was believable because you're watching these aliens come to life, ripping people apart, uh, you know, tearing the ship apart, and it, it was believable. So I can't really knock the CGI, but being... Uh, I don't know. I like. I love the original so much. I think. I think it's because we've seen so many movies where it has been practical effects, yep. and for this time to, for it to be CGI, it takes you out of the film. Like yeah. I think a little bit. Like a, a little it is. Bit. It is good CGI. It's not terrible. We're not talking like you know yeah. paint and a little bit of Photoshop to bring <laughs> a creature to life. It's yeah. you know it's high quality CGI, but it just it felt yeah. unnatural. It felt you know unrealistic a little bit. But that was only a very small part of the film, I think. Are we, are we too much of a purist with the Alien franchise? Maybe. Maybe. I think we might be. But that's all right. That's it, all right. It is you know, good. Look, it's Ridley Scott. He's back. He's back doing an oh, Alien film that we've kind back. of wanted. Thank you, like, Ridley. We, we were doing Prometheus, which was cool, but it didn't really feel like an Alien film. Like, no. there wasn't any really big Xenomorph still in, until mm. the final sequence. Which um, was extreme. That was great. I, I love that final sequence. It, it kept you waiting. You're like, shit, what's going to happen next? Is he going to continue with the franchise? Or yep. is he just going to say, nah, that's it? We waited five years and now we got yeah. Alien Covenant. Yeah, yes. and it was worth the wait. It was worth the wait. So worth my, it. my favorite part about the movie was um, finding out, I think, what was going on with David. I don't want to say too much about it, but I think just learning about his character, there was a lot of, there's a lot, it's like a lot of depth in that character. And I think that was really cool to find out. So what was your worst bit of the film? Um, look, I didn't like the CGI. Like, I, I liked it. It was fine, but it definitely pulled me out of the film mm -hmm. a little bit. But the worst part about the movie was maybe there was a little bit too much character development at the start of the film. Like, I kind of just wanted to see some aliens. Like, I think that's what I was yep. excited about the movie. So this is like the sixth Aliens film. We're not counting the Alien vs. Predator franchise because they're bullshit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, for me, I just, I just wanted to see aliens. I just wanted to see aliens tearing apart people. And there is a lot of that in the film, but Definitely. it's just... It, for me, it took a little bit long to get to that point. There was, a, there was an opening sequence, you know, dealing with David, and then we went to the ship for 40 minutes, yep. and then we finally landed, and then it didn't take me another 25 minutes for anything to kind of happen on that planet for me. Uh, and it's, it's yeah. good. It's not, it's not bad. I'm just kind of, if I have to pick at the movie, that's probably what I'd pick at. There's, but all yep. in all, I think this movie was great, and that leads to it, so is it any good? Yes, yes, it's great. What do you think? Hmm, let me think about it. Fucking oath it was good. <laughs> it was awesome. Um, yeah, it's definitely. a huge yes. It's a warm welcome yeah. back to the Alien franchise. Ridley Scott kills it in this yeah. one. Um, it's directed well. It's written well. Great character development. Great action. Great suspense. Great horror. Great blood. Oh my God, I want to see another Alien film right now. <laughs> uh, and the good thing is, there's two more coming. This is going to be a brand new trilogy. How could you not be excited about two that? Two more? Do you know? What? I'm blowing your mind. <laughs> Yeah. Two more. That's incredible. Yeah. Yeah, but how long do we have to really wait? Because Ridley Scott is about, what, 108 years old? <laughs> so they have to <laughs> turn him into a cyborg or something to make yeah. him keep going. Yeah, I completely agree. So guys, Alien Covenant comes out this Thursday. It was intense. It was crazy. Action gore. A little bit of nudity. It was amazing. <laughs> lots of aliens. It was lots of aliens. I'm Draz. I'm Ryan. And this is So Is It Any Good. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you comment below and let us know if you've seen it and what you thought. If you hated it, if you loved it, we just want to know. Let's talk about movies. Why not? Uh, <laughs> and until next time, make sure you're checking out films in the cinema because that's what we love to do.